Here's an interesting car. Don't see these every day. 1979 Ford Thunderbird T-top car. 302 underneath the hood. Power steering, power brakes, AC car. AC blows cold. Now, the odometer reads, I believe it was 29,000 on this. Unfortunately, it's a five digit odometer. I can't confirm or deny that those are original miles on it, but from what I've been around this car, I can't tell that it's had any exterior paint work to it. Um, we'll take a look at the interior in a little bit, but I would be leaning towards this car having 29,000 miles, way over 129,000 miles. No doubt about that. And, uh, you know, you're welcome to come and inspect it yourself, send a third party inspector. That's kind of what I've come up with at a couple other of our car nuts around here look at it too, leaning the same way. Now, if you wanna check out the still picture so you can see the underside of this, and I mean, take a look at the underside, you're gonna see what I'm saying. That was one of the things I looked at very closely. Look at the interior, look at the trunk. Engine bay, still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below this video in the description, there's a link, click on it. That's gonna take you right to our website. And you can call us to 507-386-1726. So obviously this was original black car, which would be a 1C paint code. Um, again, been around it. The paint shows its age. There's, you know, there's blemishes and like I said, some touch up on the top, what have you. The one thing, pinstripes all the way around, painted on. They are not a decal, they're painted on. Look like it would be from the factory. One other little thing, sounds crazy, but take a look at this paint door. There's no paint lines in here. Look at the original sticker. How many times are those gone and off of there? Just a lot of little things. Interior condition, original gaskets, and how nice a shape that they're in. This car was originally delivered out of Indianapolis DSO. Indiana, Indianapolis, DSO. So, a little background to it. Now, as far as the engine bay and engine, the 302 was pulled out with less than a few thousand miles ago and uh, rebuilt. Mild cam sounds great. Different exhaust on it, a little throatier sound. We're going to start it up, let you hear it running a little bit too. Riding on the classic Keystones. Sorry, you get a little glare there. There we go. If you want to check out this interior, I mean, look at the dash. You can tell this was not in a hot southern state where it sat out and baked the dash. Um, look at the carpeting. Shows very little wear, so I pulled the floor mats out. Vinyl top, also in excellent shape. No bubbling, anything underneath the vinyl anywhere. Now remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with the transportation of this, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. All right, C6 tranny in this, paired up with that 302. Again, new dual exhaust on it, new coil springs, new shocks, uh, new brake pads, new battery. It does have a Kenwood CD AM FM receiver in it, so those are some things that have been done to it. Power and 10 in the rear. Uh, another thing, take a look at the trunk. In the still pictures, you can see the filler panels even in there, um, which is in the rear of the trunk, the side of the trunk, the original cardboard filler panels. Speaking of filler panels, between the bumper and the fender, these all appear to be original and original paint. So again, just kind of leading to that originality and very easily could be original miles in this car. Again, check out all those still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below this video in the description, there's a link. Click on it. It's going to take you right there. You know, and it's free of dings, nicks, scratches up and down the side of it. They're just nothing that really stands out that's obnoxious or major on it. And again, you can see the luster in the paint. Showroom reflection behind me. All right, let's get in here and let's take a little closer look at the interior. And again, a little bit of sun fade because of the T-tops and windows. So you do have a little bit of sun fade. Slight discoloration on the back of the seat. You can see that in the still pictures. Come over here and look at some of the wear areas that you'd have if this car had 120 some thousand miles on it no wear on the armrests these seats are original take a look at that you 
just don't have the wear that you'd have if this was a high mile car. Look at the carpeting. That is original carpeting. All right, let's go ahead and fire this up. All right, like I said, you can see the fuel gauge is working if I get out of the glare there. Uh, AC does blow cold. It's your Kenwood stereo system that it was added. The one thing I did notice, the clock doesn't work. Imagine that. But again, take a look at the condition that that dashes in. Alright. Oh, one other thing I want to show you also. Headlight doors open. Headlights work. I'll click those on. Slip around to the back of this. Listen to that. Like I said, mild cam. Rebuilt 302. Less than a few thousand miles ago. Nice sounding car. Slip up to the front, show you the headlight doors here in a second. Gotta love these marker lights. Look how cool that looks. Chrome in good shape, obviously. Look at that. What a beauty. Alright, I'm gonna pause this a second and uh, let's check out that engine bay. Alright, you wanna see a smooth runner? Check this out. Now, again. AC blows cold, original AC components. We'll dress up with the Ford Racing, Gold Bell covers air cleaner. And again, this engine, rebuilt, mild tan, less than a few thousand miles ago. You see over here, MSD, atomic, EFI power control module. So EFI. You can see underneath there, there's the MSD. thing I did notice when they rebuilt this engine, they must have touched up a little as far as the radiator support. I did notice that that was fogged in a little bit. That's the only thing that I've seen on this car with any sort of refreshing as far as paint tank work. Original hood liner in nice shape. Listen how smooth that is. There you go. You won't see one like this every day again. We do have service technicians in the back that go through them, fill out an inspection sheet. Feel free to consult with your sales associate on that. Again, if you want to have a third party inspector come take a look at this one, feel free to. Uh, I think you may, you may find the same thing we have been looking at this car also. So there you go, 1979 Ford Thunderbird, original T-top car, original color, what could easily be original miles give us a call 507-386-1726 unique classic cars.com down below this video in the description there's a link click on it it's going to take you right there remember we do consider trades financing is available of course we can assist with the transportation this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract consult with your sales associate when you call it or email